Hello and welcome to this episode of Dragon Ball Z Kakarot. I am your host, Michael. And here we are with, here we are with episode Vegeta. Now you know I do every single one of these. Uh, specifically for this episode. It is not a repeat of the same thing. These are all done. I got a, I got a notes to read off of. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the last video. Hope you're enjoying this series. And let's get this going, shall we? Let's go. Vegeta of Planet Vegeta. His exceptional power level has earned him the respect of not only his fellow Saiyans, but also that of the Frieza Force. However, little does he know what fate has in store for him. This is the beginning of that story, one part of a larger tale. Several days after leaving Planet Vegeta, Planet Frieza training room. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay. Go ahead and begin your training. Come. And try not to bore me. I want to fight to the death. Yeah. Promise, Ron. Show such a So this is all the Cybermen can do, huh? Too late to beg for Bro, Vegeta is... Time. Like to make uh, Gamma ray burst. Uh, prepare for uh, Oh, nice. Those are the best Cybermen we have! <laughs> Better get some new ones, then. That was child's play for Prince Vegeta. What a terrifying child. I'm done here! 
Hurry and open the gate. Y yes, sir. <laughs> Way to go. <laughs> Spare me the ass kissing. I'm not getting any stronger on a dump like this. Maybe I'll convince Frieza to assign me another planet he's planning on conquering. Uh, another one? Hmm? <laughs> hey there, Vegeta. More training today, huh? Guess a pampered brat like you's got nothing better to do. What? <laughs> You're one to talk, Kui. You've got time to bother me, after all. <laughs> Always got something to say, don't you? And here I was ready to spar with you. Spar with me? Are you serious? Yeah, I am. You haven't heard? Words going around that me and you are rivals. They say it's because our power levels are about even. <laughs> yeah, right. There's no way a tactical genius like me could ever be compared to a spoiled Saiyan prince. <laughs> spoiled? You got any idea who the hell you're talking to? I'm talking to Vegeta, not his meathead lackey. <sighs> well, you want to settle this rivalry of ours and find out who's better? All right, then. B but Prince Vegeta, you just went through your training. Don't care. That was nothing more than a warm-up. Besides, this goon could use a bit of a handicap anyway. <laughs> Cocky little brat. All right. This is the last time you run that monkey mouth of yours. Uh, all systems are go. You can start at any time. <laughs> I might not be able to control myself. Better give up before you die. <laughs> I was about to say the same thing. Now then, show me what you can do. And then I'll show you something better! I'm actually impressed, Queen. You have no right to be this confident, and yet you are. Get a load of you're starting to piss me off. <laughs> You're doing the same to me. Prepare for oblivion! There'll be nothing left of you! Cybermen weren't cutting it, but you're a bit better. You at least you're good at cast off. Perhaps you should try harder. It'd be a shame to die while so outclassed. Vegeta! This creature's gone too far. <laughs> you said people thought you my rival, didn't you? Sorry, but you're not good enough for that honor. I guess that makes you lower than a spoiled Saiyan prince. What is going on? What the hell is this? Suffer! Nice. Hey! Bullshit, Maybe that was now, a even pass. as dumb as you are, you can finally see who's superior. It's because I let my guard off one time. Seriously? <laughs> this can't be. How can a brat like you be this powerful? Because I've been training constantly. Even if I'm up against peons like Cybermen, I train just to get a little stronger. I haven't been sitting on my ass all this time like you. <laughs> You're my inferior. Accept it. <laughs> Whatever. I'll let this slide just this once. I knew you were tired from your training, so I went easy on you. 
Next time, though, you're dead. No special treatment. Got it? <laughs> Next time, huh? Why not right now? <laughs> I've got a job to do, that's why. I can't be wasting my time with you. But remember this, little prince. Your days are numbered. Right. Uh, pardon me, but are you two finished? Shut up! Can't you see I'm busy? <laughs> Well, <laughs> glad that's over with. He was running his mouth, so all I did was put him in his place. <laughs> I bet he's pissing himself. Now that he knows how tough we Saiyans are. He may be a blowhard, but he's not a pushover. He'll be stronger next time we meet. And I'm counting on that, to be honest. I plan to use him to better myself. <laughs> Maybe it wouldn't be wrong to call him a rival after all. Oh, right! A clever idea, Prince Vegeta! I hadn't thought of that. Um, Prince Vegeta? What is it? We received word during your training earlier that your next target has been decided. Ha! <laughs> Perfect timing! Now I can actually have some fun. Finally, some action! Would you like to leave right away? If so... I can give the word. No, I've got business to take care of first. Business? Business with who? What do you want? Yeah, what are you doing here? See? This ain't no place for chumps like you, you know. I'm here to pay my respects to Lord Frieza before I depart. There's no need. Just head to the target planet. I don't mind, Zabon. Sorry, Lord. Vegeta, I trust you'll do me proud. I will, thank you. <laughs> There's no need to thank me. <laughs> what did Lord Frieza say? He said he trusts us to do him proud. Ha <laughs> ha! Do him proud, huh? Well, that shouldn't be too much of a problem for me and you! Ha <laughs> ha! He still has the upper hand, but not for long. Understood. Prepare for launch. Now then, how should we go about our attack? Just look at the sheer numbers they've gathered in one place. Not that their power levels are anything special. I see. Hmm. I'm getting readings in a few other spots. Maybe we ought to strike there. Scatter their forces, you know? Hmm. <laughs> Fine. Looks like we'll have to split up. Nappa, you take the other side. Wha what? But, but we, uh, won't be able to have each other's backs that way. There's no need. We'll just push through on our own. Oh, okay. If you end up dying here, that'll just show you never had much skill to begin with. I don't need Saiyans who go down so easy. You got that? Yep, yes, sir. I think it's time we got started. Listen up! No holding back! Put Saiyan power on full display! Move out! Got it! Well, well, where should we start this party? You hapless sap should curse the stars for putting you in my way. Alright, so, I gotta say a few things. Uh, Vegeta's power level, okay, it makes sense, because, you know, he's, he is stronger than Nappa, I think he always was. 
Napa's maximum power level is around 5-6,000, I think. 4,000 was always, like, the assumed. I think it's actually 5-6,000. That's why he was like, what? 8,000? You know, with the Goku, what? 9,000? Because it was, like, double. It, was, it wasn't necessarily double his power, but it was, it was over his power. Uh, and obviously, Napa had to have survived all these years within the ranks of the Frieza Force. Now, to be fair, though, if Napa is one of the weaker people in the Frieza Forces, is it because Vegeta always had his back? Or is it because he's actually one of the stronger people? That's debatable. But Vegeta, in my opinion, was always around at least 5,000 at the beginning. We know he's 18,000 at the very least during the Saiyan Saga. And then he jumps to 23,000 uh, on the Namek when he first gets the Namek, I believe. But you gotta wonder, if his power level was always like super high, like 10,000, you, you tell me he only, like, in 25 years, 23 years, he only gains so much power level between that and the, See, that, that's why it's kind of weird to me. It's weird that he would be more than 5,000 because of that. But, you know, maybe, maybe, maybe there's just a lot of weak people in the universe and that's why. Uh, wow. So, how does this work? So, Prince Vegeta's story. Now, does, does that... So, I'm guessing that's... That's to do with the rest? Because sub-story... Prince Vegeta's story is sub-story? I'm so confused. Anyway, we're gonna... We're gonna do... We're gonna... We're gonna fight these people. And then, I, I guess that's the main city. So we're gonna do what we did in the Bardock, and we're gonna fight these guys. Actually, let's uh... Yeah, that is definitely not his power level. But, I could believe it's maybe 10,000. Like, like I said, m kill the 9 at the end. Even then, it's still too high. I think his his power level around this time would probably be more accurate to maybe 9,000. So, uh, kill the one, kill kill the 19 in the begin in the in the, the beginning. Uh, these are definitely not accurate power levels because Frieza at form one was a hundred thousand. There's no way. There's, there's no way this is accurate. The, the the main game might be accurate when it comes to battle power, but the the, the DLCs definitely are not. All right, let's see. Not a lot of attack, to be fair. Oh, wow. And we already got a shit ton of uh, orbs, so we don't really need to do much, do we? Hell, I could just upgrade him right now if I want. These are the only moves he's going to have. Man, it's kind of disappointing, but... It is, it, is a, it is a side story of a side story, so... I, I guess it is what it is. It's still cool at all that they let us play as Prince Vegeta. I am not complaining. They didn't have to do this. They could have. They could have just cameoed him, you know. So I'm. I'm very happy that they did it. Let's power it up to two. We'll power it up to three. After. I don't know how long this DLC is either. It must not be super long. All my training from Bardock, I guess. I just like over leveled everything. Alright, let's go to his uh, attack platelet. As always, merciless and battle instincts because Saiyans. I'm gonna do heavy blow because stun damage is always good. This might make sense, but we'll do destructive blow. Nah, you know what? We'll do full tilt. Makes sense for Vegeta. Anyway, I, I guess yeah. This is this is just a fun 
story. You don't even have to really. You better make this fun for me. You know, take it seriously. Too late to make for murder. Not a lick of sense. Yeah. It's cool that we're playing as Vegeta at all. Like I said, I'm not complaining whatsoever. I won't leave a single one of them breathing. Sasha! You think your numbers will give you a chance against me? Witness the unstoppable power of a super elite of the Saiyan race! This place will be your grave. So grab this! There'll be nothing left of you! <laughs> I'll teach you the meaning of pain! <laughs> the move is so useful. Right now. There'll be no trace of them when we're through here! There'll be nothing left of you! I face nothing but fours on this planet. Next time I should ask Lord Frieza for a more worthwhile diversion. Prepare for oblivion! You pathetic fool! Nice! Yeah, Vegeta is literally the fun mode. No question about it. Here goes! Pathetic 
but they certainly don't have the strength. <coughs> with you. Well, well, you've all finally decided to show up. Make this fun for me. All right, let's see if you can pull this off. Pathetic. Not a single fighter worth a damn. There'll be nothing left of you! Not a single part of the dam. Vegeta should be like that. Oh, shit. Welcome to two-bit losers. This is just getting silly. Prepare for a bloody blast. Today's going to end before I even get warmed up. There'll be nothing left of you. ends in disappointment. We exterminate the pests around here. No need to stand on ceremony. All of you attack me at once. Musha! I'll blow you all to itty bitty pieces. <laughs> Time to take out the trash. <laughs> the doors. 
A super elite is wasting his time to play with you pathetic scraps. Is that all you've got? I expected something more entertaining. There'll be nothing left of you. to be the last of them. Gotta say, I'm impressed. Hm. I'll go take care of the stragglers. Right, happy hunting! This planet is all but eradicated. Let's finish things up in one go. Weaklings. Trash sure loves to clump together, doesn't it? Once we crush them here, this planet will be ours. <laughs> Guess they know it's pointless to flee. Time for some fun! I'll give you a taste of hell! <laughs>
That doesn't mean they deserve mercy, though. I don't care what trash I'm up against, I'll obliterate them! Your face was sealed the moment we say and set eyes on your planet. <laughs> Don't be afraid of me. That fear won't keep you or your planet around any longer. It's over. Dude wasn't even loaded in. Should I let him load in? Nappa, status report. Oh, all right. I'm still fighting, but I've wiped out about 80% of them. Got it. Give them hell to their bitter end. I'm almost done here. You got it. Now die. Phew. That's all of them. Guess it's time to report back to Prince Vegeta. Huh? A message from the Frieza Force? 
That's new. Never been contacted by them before. Nappa here. Yeah, of course I can hear you. Vegeta, can you hear me? What is it? I, uh, I just got a transmission from Lord Frieza. He said somehow planet Vegeta's just vanished without a trace. Oh, and what? I guess it was taken out by a giant meteor or something. I can't believe it. Only a few Saiyans are left, including us. Huh, and what? Oh. Oh, uh, well, that was it. This planet's about done for, too. I need to ask Lord Frieza for another to conquer. One more challenging. The true reason for Planet Vegeta's destruction would remain unknown for some time. Though Vegeta had his own unvoiced suspicions, he would continue to seek more power and commit himself to a life of fighting. Eventually, his path would come to odds with two others. Frieza, the evil tyrant, and Kakarot, the low-class warrior raised on Earth. So, yeah, that's the end of, uh, I guess that's the end of Prince Vegeta's story. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. This one wasn't a long one, but hey, it was fun. And, uh, yeah, either I'm going to tackle the Namek Saga or I'm going to start Tears of the Kingdom. So look forward to that. Have a good one, guys. Be seeing you. Bye. Yeah.